Hi, I'm Madonna and this is Sanu and today we're going to take you through how we would use muscle testing to find out what's going on with the adrenals, with the thyroid and getting more specifically into someone's exhaustion, fatigue, uh, HPA, so the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. So firstly what we need to do is make sure some core points on the body are working well and if they're not we pick them up, if they are we move forward. So. These are some core little immune system points. Hold, 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 and hold, and hold. So as you'll see, they're all locking, which is a sign that those acupuncture points are working quite well. I'm also going to check her tootsies, because this muscle here, hold up, and hold, perfect, relates to the flexor hallucis longus muscle, which relates to adrenal stress. So that's all looking good so far. I also want to check their teres minor in the arm. Hold back, don't let me lift up, perfect. Hold back, don't let me lift up. So that muscle, the teres minor, relates to the thyroid organ in kinesiology. So what I'm going to do is basically get more specific. So if someone had thyroid problems, adrenal problems, immune system problems, other things might show up. So let's just check overall with stress and stress hormones. And hold nice and strong, okay. And hold, and hold, and hold, and hold, and hold, and hold, <laughs> and hold back for me. That's pretty good. Hold back for me. That's pretty good. So the thyroid's actually coping quite well with stress, but Sanu does do a lot of work to support her stress systems. So these ones here are the immune system. So when stress hormones hit her body, the immune pathway gets overloaded with stress hormones and it doesn't quite know how to cope. So it throws up its arms and goes, ah! <laughs> and the other thing that happened when we threw in stress and stress hormones, no surprise, it overactivated the adrenals. Breathe in, breathe out and push. And 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 you can see we're putting a fair bit of pressure there. It's not a waffly test at all. So let's ask again, stress and stress hormones. And hold. Hold, hold, hold. So they're all locking nicely. And hold, and hold. And now that's locking nicely. Now. If we were to ask something really specific during a big time of stress, when things are going quite chaotic, uh, sometimes antibodies raise in the body. So we can have antibodies for all sorts of things. So let's just ask during high levels of stress, raised levels of thyroid antibodies. And hold nice and strong. And hold, and hold, and hold, and hold. Hmm. Let's check thyroid again. Hold back. No, pretty strong. And hold. Beautiful. And the adrenals again. Hold and hold. So this time, the antibodies, it's more within the immune system itself that it's struggling. But a thyroid is coping quite well, and so is the adrenals, which is interesting. So that if antibodies were high over a long period of time, that could predispose us to getting, say, an autoimmune disease. And once you've got an autoimmune disease, it sets off this whole cascade of inflammatory things where you really have to nut things out and work out what's going on in your life that you have to sort out so that you're not so stressed all the time in relation to raised levels of antibodies. And hold, and hold, hold, and hold. So now let's just for fun ask about, are you in any pain at the moment? Um, lower back. Little lower back, okay. So let's just ask in relation to pain and pain hormones. And hold, okay. And hold, hold, and hold, and hold, yeah. And hold, hold, <laughs> hold back for me, and hold back. So thyroid's really strong, but the immune system struggling with the pain and pain hormones in the system as are the adrenals. Were the adrenals? Yeah, as are the adrenals. <laughs> so
So tapping is like uh, putting little acupuncture needles in and stimulating an acupuncture point to get a response. So once we're getting muscles that are locking afterwards, it's changed the paradigm in the body. So the body's starting to get an idea about how to heal itself again. Breathe in, breathe out and push. And breathe in, breathe out and push. Beautiful. In relation to pain and pain hormones. And hold. Hold, 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 and hold. Now, another thing that can be affecting the thyroid, the adrenals, the stress hormones is the pituitary gland not actually communicating with either the thyroid or the adrenals or the, um, or the adrenal glands. Uh, so basically that can be adding to that whole circuitry of stress. So let's just ask the body in relation to the HPA axis, axis Let's see if it's affecting the immune system. Hold, 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 that's perfect. Hold back, don't let me lift, good. And hold, thyroid's good, and this one's the old, okay. So the weak spot with Sanu is the adrenal glands when it comes to the HPA axis. Breathe in, and out and push. And breathe in, breathe out and push. And breathe in, out and push. And breathe in, and out and push. Now energetically, any of these things can be linked in with some chakras. So let's just check a few of the chakras and see if anything's going on. So basically, I just need to put my hand over it and then muscle test. So this is my muscle test. So I'm just putting my hand over the chakras and seeing if any of them unlock. And that's the unlock, this one here, hold up. So that one is the base chakra, it's about feeling safe and secure. But it also works in with the adrenal glands which sit on top of the kidneys and the sphenoid bone. So sometimes people's eyesight can get sore, tired, inflamed, damaged when we're under stress. So I'm going to put those three into circuit. And hold up nice and strong. Doesn't like that. Let's see whether it's first, second or third stage stress. And hold. Oh, it nearly was there. Okay, so it's third stage stress, which means there's chronic fatigue of the base chakra in relation to antibodies in the immune system, overloaded adrenal system, and pain and pain hormones. I think those were the main ones. And I know this seems a bit weird, but basically with the base chakra, we just need to get some good energy going on in there. And the proof is in the pudding in kinesiology. That's what I love about it. If things unlock, we haven't made a change. If we're going from unlocks to locks, then we've made an energetic change. Okay. But uh, chakras have a bit of an energetic swirl about them. So sometimes that just kicks on in. And hold. That's beautiful, hold. Okay, excellent, so that's nice and balanced now. Let's just ask if there's anything more we need to do. Oh, hello, so there's something else we need to do. I'm just gonna quickly scan through a checklist. Okay. Okay, so something's showing up in relation to past medications in the body. So all I'm going to do is ask the body in relation to any and all past medication. And hold nice and strong. Okay, so the immune system is still trying to deal with some old medication that's in the body. Uh, when we are taking drugs, if they are toxic to our system, what the body tries to do as soon as they're in the bloodstream is remove them from the bloodstream. So all day long when we're on drugs, our blood system is going, holy moly, what are you doing to me? And it's pulling that drug residue out of the bloodstream and trying to detox it through the kidneys, the liver, the skin through sweat, out through the poop and the urine. You know, the body's just trying to get rid of it however it can. But what it can't get rid of, it can store in the body. So we can end up with this um, drug residue that can bind to receptors on cell walls and then that can disrupt the cellular function long term. 
and again breathe in breathe out and push and breathe in breathe out and push breathe in breathe out and push breathe in breathe out and push excellent drugs and drug residue and hold and that can obviously be um natural therapy drugs as well you know if we give someone say straight uh glutathione or straight straight uh htp or something like that that is in fact working as a drug in the system so i hope that's been informative and uh we'll catch you again soon